libraries welcome back to my channel so we are back today with all new background and of course i'm filming after two months as i mentioned in my last video that i was having issues with my editing software and i just couldn't help the situation out there i downloaded many more new softwares to try editing on that but it wasn't being possible i'm really sorry for that but now i'm sure i'm gonna be regular hopefully fingers crossed and that's it so this is the look that i came up with today and if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching well hello so i'm gonna first start by applying some lip balm and then i'm gonna move on to moisturizing my face with this max strobe cream for that glowy looking skin from within Then I'll be using my Corallon TV Paint Stick in the shade 303 which is also known as my orange color corrector and I'm going to be applying this to all over my problem areas and then using a damp beauty blender to blend that all out. For my base foundation today I'm using Revlon Color Stay Foundation Warm Golden just taking two pumps of that on my blender and just randomly placing that all over my face and then gonna blend it out in this bouncing motion. Once I'm done blending that, I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Neutral Light Medium and I'm gonna apply this in a triangular shape on my under area and around my mouth. And then using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Flare Clear to bring some light back onto my face, like uh, basically the center of my face. And then using that same damn beauty blender to blend that all out. Then I'm going to be using my Derma Color Fixing Powder in the shade P3. Not baking basically, but just kind of setting my uh, concealed or the highlighted area like my under eye area, on the bridge of my nose, around my mouth, center of my forehead, under the hollows of my cheekbones and all that. I'm then going to prime my eyelids with Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer and this is going to go on to all over my eyelid up to my brow bone area. Then using Makeup Geek Chickadee Eyeshadow and applying this as my base transition into my crease area. Then using Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear Eyeshadow and using a precision blending brush, I'm going to be first applying this eyeshadow on the outer lid area. Then whatever is left into my brush, I'm going to drag that inwards and apply some eyeshadow onto the inner eyelid area. Then using Makeup Geek Mocha Eyeshadow and doing the exact same thing as I did with the Cocoa Bear one. Applying it onto the outer lid area, dragging it inwards and also applying onto the inner eyelid area. Then just going back with my Sigma E35 blending brush just to make sure that we have no harsh lights. Now I'm going to be using another small blending brush and applying chickadee eyeshadow onto my lower lash line and then going to tight line my upper and lower waterline with max molder eye coal. Then on a smudger brush I'm going to pick some cocoa bear eyeshadow and applying it onto my lower lash line basically smudging out the black eye coal. And then using any blending brush, just kind of squeezing it and blending everything out so that we have no harsh lines. 
Then picking some chickadee eyeshadow on my finger and applying it onto the center bare area. And then using my blending brush to blend it out so that again we have no harsh lines. And then using MAC Nylon eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners of my eye and also the brow bone area. Using L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion Mascara to mascara for my lashes, basically prepping them up for falsies. Moving back to the face, I'm going to use my Benefit Hula Bronzer to bronze up my face or to warm up the sides of my face. So basically I'm applying it onto the hollows of my cheekbones, moving upwards, onto my jawline area, some on my temples and using a smaller brush to apply it onto the sides of my nose. Then using Benefit What's Up Highlighter to highlight the highest points of my face like the cheekbone area, tip of my nose, cupid's bow and some on my chin. And I'm going to use that beauty blender to blend it out just because it's a creamy product. And to set that, yeah I love this highlighter. And to set that I'm going to use some nylon eyeshadow. Now using MAC Desert Rose Blush onto the apples of my cheeks cause we kind of need some colors back into our life. And then I'll be applying MAC Edge to Edge Lip Liner and topping it off with MAC Cosmo Lipstick. And I guess we are totally matching up with the blush that we use and that's what I wanted. Now I'll be applying my false lashes. And with that, we are finally done. So this is the final result, my girls. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, to comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.